Para pa 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 da, para pa pa da da, para pa 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 da, para pa da pa pa, para pa 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 da, para pa da da da, para pa 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 pa, para pa pa da pa. Hello, everybody. This is the KRB15, and welcome back to the final episode of Super Mario 3D Land. So yeah, today we are challenging Special World 8, and yeah, we're finishing off this playthrough. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So each of these worlds has a dark question block, um, so uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be uh, like, yeah, it's gonna be interesting if we have enough star coins to see if we do, but yeah, let's just jump right into this first stage. So there are a total of, let's see, six stages. So I hope the star coin amount goes up by five each time, because then it'll be good. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the question of the day out of the way. So oh, we have 30 seconds. So for this episode, the question of the day is Oh, why did I just do that? Alright, the question of the day for this episode is What is your favorite episode of Super Mario 3D Land that I have done? So I don't actually have a favorite myself, but I like the ones where I fail a whole bunch. Um, like where I have a bunch of fails and everything, that's always fun. Um, because it's just like, uh, it makes me like mad and like, I don't know, I get a little angry sometimes with that. And that's always fun to watch and see. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, no, we're almost out of time. I wasn't paying attention at the time. But yeah, make sure you answer in the uh, comments. What's your favorite uh, episode of Super Mario 3D Land is? Uh, and yeah, I'll be able to look at those in the comments. Because this is the last, so you know, why not end it off with um, one where we look at the past. So, alright, we missed that last dark one. It was just above us in that one point. But yeah, let's go, and there we go. And we just got to the top of the flagpole. So that is... Special World 8, Stage 1. I know my, uh, what is it? It was World Special World 6. I had a lot of trouble with that world because that might have been my longest Super Mario 3D Land video because I had so much fails. So that was kind of fun. And it looks like it's going up by increments of 10. Um, so, yeah. We might have to go back a couple times and get some star coins. Alright. Oh, this is a log turning world that looks cool. Alright, we probably played this one before. It probably has like a special thing to it, like a, a difference. But yeah, what we need to try to do is we need to try to get all three star coins, making meaning so we don't have to go back as much. So, yeah. I like this music on the stage, it's like the. I like that music a lot. Like, I think it's just kind of cool. It's playful and it's fun. I don't know. Oh, oh he's just throwing coins. I should have just let him throw coins at me. Come on, come on. Alright, I need to make this jump. Alright, there we go. And jump. Oh my goodness. I'm almost to that star coin. Almost there. If I had the squirrel suit, I mean, not squirrel suit, the uh, tanuki suit, I would be able to do that pretty easily. Alright. Huh. Huh. Oh, this one's moving fast. Jump on this guy, come on. Huh. There we go. Alright, we can get all th these six guys. Huh. Oh, nope, never mind. That sucked. Alright, if I get these guys... The ones that are throwing the wrenches, I can just get coins. Ooh, I just jumped on that wrench. That was pretty Oh, really? I shouldn't have been jumping on him. Alright, let's do this again. We got it this time. We know where one of the star coins is, so... Oh, really? This might be an episode where I have a lot of fails. It's starting to look like that. Alright, jump, jump. Alright, this is working out really well. All 
Alright, go. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, I still made it though. That was pretty clutch. Alright. Wait for a second. Oh, jump. And there we go, we got the star coin. Alright. No, no. Oh, really? Alright, that's disappointing. Alright, we got this though. We got this. Alright, this time is the charm. Alright, jump over here. Some of these worlds actually gets pretty hard. Because these are moving a lot faster than they used to. I can tell you that. Alright, there we go. We did it. Pretty good that time. Oh, nope. There we go, got it. Take that, Monty Mole. Stupid rodent. Alright. We're just gonna skip these guys because I don't want to die. Ooh, this is... Gotta go fast. Gotta be like Sonic the Hedgehog right there. Alright, let's see. Where, we can, where can we find another star coin? Oh, nope, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Oh, yeah, I got, I got to this part at least. That's good. That's good enough for me. Alright. Come on, run, 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 run. I see it down there. Goomba. Star coin. There we go. Alright, very good. That is the third star coin, so it looks like we missed one. That's not good. Um, so yeah. Aw, oh, really? Alright. I'm going to have to take a quick edit right here, guys, and go back and find another star coin. Um, because, yeah, um, it looks like this wants us to have more. So, I think I have to have 250. So, unfortunately, we don't have that much. So, let's see. Yeah, 250. So, I'm going to take a quick edit right now, guys. I'm going to get some star coins, and I'll be back in a couple seconds. Alright, everyone, we are back. Um, I just went to the question box houses. Um, they're pretty convenient, the little purple ones. Um, so yeah, I got 251. So yeah, let's just jump right into this next one. Uh, hopefully we can get some star coins on this one. Because we need them. Because uh, it's looking like we're going to have to have 280 to finish this. Because uh, there are three more places left after this one. So it would go 260, 270, 280. And that might be a little challenging, so... Yeah. And we got another fast-paced one, again. So I got a, um, just a regular Tanuki Leaf from one of the question boxes, so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna be using that. And we got- oh! I guess I'm not gonna be using that, guys. That's disappointing. Alright, um, I saw the question block over- I mean, the star coin over there, so we need to get that. And I just- that was dumb. Oh, uh, really? Alright. I'm really bad at this right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go get this thing, because I also got a uh, fire flower from one of the boxes. Alright. I'm sorry if I'm quiet, guys. I'm just trying to concentrate. Alright, there we go. We did that pretty well. Oh, uh, really? That dry bones was timed really bad. Oh my goodness, no. I don't want to get stopped. Oh, really? Alright, we got this time. We got it this time. Is there anything in here? Nope. Alright. I shouldn't have done that because I'm wasting time right now. They give me limited time and they give me uh, one of those purple Shadow Mario's following me. Or Shadow Luigi's. Alright, I'm not doing so good on this one right now. This might be a very faily episode. Oh, really? I, I'm not good at this, guys. I'm not good. It's kind of unfair that I have to jump to get that one, so... Alright, I'm just gonna avoid that star coin for right now. If I need to, I can just come back and get it at any point. Is there gonna be something, a star coin? Nope, there's not even a star coin up there, so I just like, 
risked it so much right there. Alright, that was pretty good right there. Alright. Uh, here's a hammer bro. One of my favorite enemies, obviously, from the last episode. Question of the day. Alright. If there's a freaking Bowser, alright, there's not, so that's good. I hate these stone pillars because something like this happens. Alright, that wasn't that bad, but... Come on, just let me... Oh, I'm really, I missed it. Alright, whew, the Shadow Mario's gone, so... That was close. If the Shadow Mario comes back... Alright, uh, alright, he's not coming back. Alright, there we go. That is stage 3 done. Alright. Yeah! Alright, so now we're gonna have to, um, probably collect some more coins because, yeah, we probably need to. Alright, hopefully it's not 260. Hopefully, just hopefully. Ah, 260. Alright. What we're gonna do, actually, is we're gonna pull an audible. Um, actually, no. Well, I don't know what to do. Uh, sh if I should go to my old save file um, that I have and everything's completed, like 100%. Um, I think I may go to that so that I don't have to spend too much time. Um, so yeah, um, I will be back in like, alright, so here we are, um, in this other world, um, and I, this is where I've completed everything completely, and as you can see in my lives, I have st uh, crown, 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 that happens if you get 999 lives, and, uh, it's like a little thing you can do with a Goomba, but, I mean, not a Goomba, a Koopa, but yeah, alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, gonna just try to finish these, we're gonna work at getting the star coins as well, because, like in the other save file, we wouldn't have had those. Um, but yeah, this makes it a lot easier so that I don't have to go and, um, find all more star coins. I should have done that before, but, um, this just makes it a whole bunch easier on my part. Um, and yeah, it will make the video seem better too. Alright, I know there's a star coin back there, if you screw back, but we're on limited time right now, so... Alright, come on, come on, if I die, there we go, I, I was jumping on the screw. Alright, grab this time. It's convenient that I have a Tanuki suit, because I got a Tanuki suit from the um, Toad House in the previous save file, so I thought I should just go get one for this one, so... Alright, come on, we can get that. Watch out for the dragon spitting fireballs. And there's gonna be a star coin, right? Actually, there's not a star coin over there. Oh yeah, there is. Never mind. We'll just get it, for the sake of getting it. Alright, looks like we're not gonna get it. You guys know where it is, you saw it. Uh, I don't wanna, like, kill myself, so... Yeah, we're just gonna let that one go by the wind, or go with the wind, is that the phrase? I don't know. All we know is we have to run on this treadmill. Alright. Now this is like Super Mario 3D, I mean Super Mario Galaxy-esque, with this spinny thing. Alright, oh, we gotta spin. Oh, boom, we almost fell out, we almost fell out, that was close. We got a bunch more time now, so we're good. Huh. Alright, there we go. Oh, and if you have uh, Crown 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 as your lives, Luigi, as his big form, doesn't wear a hat, but his small form does. So, yeah, that's just another little thing about it. I know there's a certain world where if you put a Koopa in a small enough space and have him bounce back and forth, you can time it perfectly that you jump on him every single time. And by jumping on them every single time, you get, uh, like, for a while, 
Yeah, you get a, a one-up for each time you jump on him. So that's how I got that many lives. Um, yeah, I played this game a lot, so... Yeah. Oh, we got a Shadow Mario. Again. Alright. If we come over here... Oh, oh and the, the gears are moving faster. See, now I have the hat now as Mini Mario. I am Mini Luigi. That's what I meant. It's the same with Mario, too. Um, Mario does that as well. Alright. How's he running on air? Alright. I'm doing pretty well on this one right now. Oh my goodness, nope. Oh my goodness, I saved myself so bad right there. That was so lucky of me. I don't remember... Oh, really? That's hard right there because it's spinning the direction you want to go. What we're going to do first is we're going to go like this. And see, we have the hat now because on Big Luigi because we lost one life. So it's Crown Crown 9. Alright. Now this makes it a lot easier with this guy. Um, having the ability to flutter. Oh, we almost got hit right there. Alright, we'll keep going. Just keep going. Oh, um, I didn't jump right there. I fluttered down. That was close. Alright, we're close. We're just ending up here. Because doesn't run, does he die? Please tell me he does. He... Alright. And... Getting one up. This crown, there we go. Again, so. But it made we just get the sound like crown crown. So. That funky. Alright. So that. Uh, five is. Is our right, guys, uh, stay where special world day just cast, and here we go. These with the Bowser game, so last world in the game. Uh, oh, it's another really. Oh, wait, that it's the defeated time one. Is uh, with the hammer bros, like about how I cool after time. I thought they were so really. This whole uh, written this. Alright, that would have helped a bunch. Oh no. Alright. Here we go. We're doing pretty well. Right now. Alright. Come on. Come on. Right. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Hard to battle on that edge. It's hard. Oh, okay. what? Dark coin. We're just gonna evade it because I don't want to just kill. I want to get make this go as smoothly as possible. To and boom, let's lift this up in the air. Go. Hammer bros everywhere. Hammer bros are really one of the hardest enemies because they do throw the hammers and the hammers just can get you out of nowhere at some points so it makes it kind of difficult but it's awesome oh we have these ghost platforms all right and there we go and when are we going to be able to face there he is the final boss of the game big dry bones bowser Alright, and look at all those hammer bows in the distance. Oh, I barely stomped on that one. Oh, he's shooting laser beams out of his feet. What? Jump over that. 
Oh, I barely got that one. He's gonna have to jump this way. Oh, come on. Don't get in the lava. Come on. You can do it. There we go. And there we go, everybody. That is Dry Bones Bowser. The end of Super Mario 3D Land. Thank you guys for watching. It's not over this second, but here we go. Huh. <laughs> There we go. That is the end. But wait, there is more. Once you, so with this game, once you uh, get every single star coin for every single stage, clear each stage getting a gold flag, and clear each stage using Mario and Luigi, you get to access the special uh, crown world. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some stone tanuki leaves real fast, um, cause that's the only way it's possible. Uh, and I'll be back in, like, a couple seconds. Alright, everybody. So here we are. The final stage for Super Mario 3D Land. So not much people know about this because, yeah, not a lot of people go through and complete uh, every three, getting every three star coin for every single stage. And play it as both Mario and Luigi and also get the gold flag. So, yeah, it's very important. If you want to play this, you got to do that. So here we go. There's no star coins for this stage. You're just playing it to complete it. So it starts off with some hammer bros, making it difficult. Alright. And there's a boomerang bro right there. So, you have to be very careful with this stage because this is like parkour to the ultimate power. So, yeah. And you have to actually, it's actually very cool. Like, you have to jump on this Goomba. Uh, in order to do it, and then this is this might be the single most hardest part of the whole thing, because this is really difficult. And if I mess it up, I wouldn't be surprised. All right. Nope. Yep, I messed up. All right. This is why we have two tan stone tanuki leaves. So yeah, let's grab that other one. So this might take me a while, guys. So I'm sorry if it does, um, because. It's very, very difficult. So we can basically just skip those guys. We don't have to worry about them. Alright. So once we clear this part, though, I feel confident. Um, like this little section. Because after where I failed, there's still more. So I feel confident um, that I can get the rest of it. So um, once I get past this part, I should be good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, I barely landed on that one. Alright, so the trick for this part is you wanna, instead of having to jump on the Goombas, if you just wall jump, you can come up here and override that. Then you can just jump up here, land on this thing, and then come up here. Aw, oh, dang it. I messed up. I'm not surprised. Just watch out for the Rock Snake, because he's gotten me several times when I play this. And watch out for this bee. So what you want to do immediately is let it come to you and just bounce on it. And they'll make it a lot easier instead of having to be in the, up in the air and try to land on them uh, when you're trying to land on a block. And this is one of the coolest parts. So there's that toad stranger right there on that block. You actually have to jump on the toad. Uh, and then to get to the next part. Oh, I'm, ah, oh, dang it. But you have to actually jump on them to get to the next part, and you have to actually jump well. But, because we lost both of our stone tunic leaves, if we just go to course selection, we should be able to get them back. Oh, I guess not. So, yeah, I'm going to take a quick edit right here, guys, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, we are back, everybody. Um, just had to go get some more stone tunic leaves. This might take me a while, I just realized, because this is a very, very hard stage. And... 
It is the final stage of the game, so there's a reason they made it really hard. Alright, so we can bypass that hammer bro, get past the boomerang. Alright, and we can just jump right here. So yeah, this parkour section is literally the hardest part um, of the whole stage. Um, because, yeah, most of it, it's like it's been before in the games. Um, so... Alright. Now we can go... Oh my goodness, I hate this part so much. No, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, I slid off. Alright. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go... Boom. Alright, what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna show every single one of my fail for this, because... Yeah, it's gonna be entertaining to watch me fail a lot. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna show every single time that I fail to complete this stage. And it might be a long episode because of that. Alright. Oh my goodness. So if you do not have the stone to make leaves, that will make this stage like a whole bunch harder because it just, it's hard no matter what, but it's, it makes it a lot easier to have the stone tanuki leaves. Alright, well, oh my goodness, who oh, made it? Come on, B. B, come on. Alright, now we can get this B to come to us. Alright, I hate this part. Alright, now we actually have to land on the toad, like I said before. And oh, we did it, we did it. Alright. Now, we have a boss fight. So, we had to have a final boss fight in this thing. Uh, because just to make the stage a little harder, you know. That's what uh, Nintendo had to do. So for this, I recommend taking out Pom Pom first. Um, because, yeah. Uh, actually you can go like this. Because she won't land on another place other than the top platform, and he won't be able to come up there either, so you can just, oh, oh my goodness, I dodged that so well right there. What you can do is you can uh, land on her, and then when he gets tired, you can land on him. Alright. Alright, I just need to kill her one more time. Alright, and there we go. And then when she is down, he's gonna get tired real soon, uh, which is... It's, you just gotta wait for this because I'm not gonna risk it. Alright. And here we go. That is our final time with the face Boom Boom and Pom Pom in this game. But, that is not the final part of the stage. There is still a whole lot more. So we've seen these things before. Um, we've seen them a lot. It just gets even harder. And what the trick is, is you want the stone tanuki suit because then you can go like this and be able to not get hit by those guys. So the trick with this is just forget that part, just jump right now. And don't risk it when it's falling real fast. And what you want to do is you want to have the stone tanuki suit so that you can avoid these bomb bombs falling to the ground. So if you go in your little thing like this. It, they won't be able to blow up on you, um, and it makes it a lot easier. And if you go in this too, you won't be hit by the fire. So that's why the stone tanuki suit is a lot better than the regular tanuki suit. Um, it just makes it a lot easier on the stage. Alright, and this is the third and final part. I mean, the fourth, or whatever, whatever part of the stage this is. I believe this, actually no, this is the second to last part. So I'm pretty sure I can com complete this now. Because all it has to do is a timing. And, yeah, so this is the final part. But unfortunately with this, we have a shadow clone following us. Oh no, no, oh, I fell down where that uh, fake block was. Oh, dang it, I got hit by that. That wasn't good. And there we go. This is the final part of the game. So before we go here, guys, I just want to say... Thank you guys so, so, so much for all the support, 
for this series. It has been a lot of fun, but it has to come to an end. And we're going to be able to start some new series now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to click like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. That's embarrassing.